check out this amazing gear. It was printed for me by my son-in-law on a 3D printer, and it looks like a couple of Nautilus shells that are cut in half. But if you notice, they engage perfectly as they're spun around and they're held together by a little bracket. What I'm going to try to do is trace this out and make it out of wood. This is quite a challenge. This is not an easy pattern to follow. So now I'm taking, and very quickly, I'm tracing around the pattern and then also the bracket. When that's done, I'm going to take and make sure I get a good center spot where the bracket is held. Notice here and here. These need to be drilled while the two pieces of wood are together. Now, how do you get these two pieces of wood to be together? This is a trick you've probably seen in some of my other videos. I'm going to take and put some accelerator for super glue on this half, and then I'm going to take and put a little drip of super glue on the blue tape on this half. I'll very carefully then and take these two pieces and make a sandwich, press it down, and when I get it in the position, hold it, count to 10. And after I've held it that amount of time, these are basically a single piece of wood. Now you can see here I have some little bolts and nuts. They're really too long, but that's what I have in my home, so I'm going to use them and just cut them down to the size I need. They'll work fine. Here is the center holes for the gears and the bracket. I'll pre-drill those now before I cut it apart. I go to my scroll saw, and what I'm doing is cutting just outside the bracket line, and I can sand down to the line. And then when I begin the other part, I'm going to cut close to the shape, but then just cut little V sections out for each gear. Later, I'm going to find that these V's are a little too deep, but I can just spin it on a sanding belt and take the end of each tooth off a little bit. Now you can see I have these pieces that are still taped together and I need to separate them and see if I can get this whole thing to work. Now I'm going to take it, I have a knife and I'm splitting them apart. I have a little blue tape to clean off, but that's a lot better than having it stuck together with super glue. That would never come apart. After I get these apart, I found that I had a lot of difficulty with this plywood because it tends to fracture on the edges, especially if you're being really intricate in your cutting. Later on, I'm going to take this material and use hardwood. Here, I'm measuring the thickness of all the pieces of wood, and when I lock that in, I can say, okay, that's how much I need to be flush. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more when I cut these bolts for the nuts to fit. Now I'm going to take that bolt and put it in my vise thread first because I don't care about the threads on the end that I'm going to throw away. And then I can saw it off. And when I'm done, I can take that sawed off piece of bolt and spin it very carefully. You beginners, be careful with this eye cover because that thing will shoot out of your hand like a bullet. So I'm just spinning it, knocking off the burrs, and I also left the nut all the way in on the bolt so when I loosen the nut it will put threads at the end if any of them got damaged. I do that on both sides. Now after I've done that I can carefully put those bolts through the holes on the bracket and let's see what we end up with. Okay, right. Here we go. Now notice this is hardwood. It's not the plywood I started. So and I put a little hole in the middle so you can kind of see the gears going by. It has a little bit of a binding point there, but it works pretty well. If you would like to try this and even, uh, you know, use your own innovations on it to make it work better, I will leave a pattern down in the description part of this video 
for your use. Have a good time. Have some fun. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Take care. Bye-bye.